Good morning guys, it's Caroline. Welcome to my channel. I'm having my chlorophyll water that I've been trying for the past, I think it's been about a week. Haven't noticed any differences yet, but I'll keep you posted. Today is an exciting day. We're gonna go get lip filler. I've had it a few times before, not just a little bit. Um, I do have, I ran into a fireplace when I was like a little girl, like three or so and cut open my lips so they're a little asymmetrical i don't know if you can kind of see the scar right here but i'm just gonna get that evened out and then also get some botox because we're going to hawaii botox or i actually get dye sport but it really doesn't last that long on me because i'm so active so the more active you are the faster you tend to metabolize the i think do they call it a protein I don't, mm, the whatever. Basically, it's poison, but it just doesn't last that long on me. So, I really just do it before like trips and stuff where I'm gonna be like squinting a lot. So, we're gonna do that, but first, we're gonna hit the gym. So, I'm having my chlorophyll water. It's a good way for me to like drink a whole glass of water before anything else in the morning, like before coffee or pre work or bleh, before coffee or pre workout or anything. It's actually snowing right now. Like just like little flurries but it's good because we need it i mean it's cold but we need snow making my pre-workout i just took daisy potty and does anyone else like feel really bad that their dog has to go to the bathroom when it's freezing cold it's currently 21 degrees and daisy's a champ she does it she definitely doesn't like it she does it real quick and comes right back in but just kind of funny <sighs> Sometimes I have protein before workout, almost always on leg days. And then if it's not a leg day and I don't feel like I need the energy, it just kind of depends if how hungry I am or not. Today I couldn't really decide, so we're opting for not because it's a core day and I don't really want too much in my system when I'm twisting around. But yeah, let's go to the gym. Oh, that was a good one. My abs are burning. I'll walk you guys through what I did for my core day today. You really don't need to train abs that much as long as you're doing compound movements like squats, deadlifts, all that. Will you should engage your core during those exercises, but it's fun to have one core day a week. And remember, you're not going to see abs unless you're strict in the kitchen, but it's good to have a strong core kind of no matter what your goals are. So I'll walk you through what I did today. Each set has three exercises. Every exercise either focuses on the full core, um, obliques like side abs, and your lower core. And I'll include some alternatives if some of the exercises are too challenging for you. But you'll definitely feel it if you're not sore, then you need to push harder. The lady actually came up to me today and was like, I can really tell like you've been working so hard. I can see the like your progress just within the past like month or so. So that felt really good. Um, I'm actually down four pounds getting ready for we're going back to Hawaii, so I'm really excited about that, but it's just nice, like you see progress and then random people at the gym, so work hard, it pays off.
guys, I just got home from the gym. I ran to the post office and I was actually expecting something from Sephora, but it said deliver, but the post office, we have a P.O. box and the post office just kind of really sucks. I know they work hard, but they're also kind of the worst. I literally have to put Caroline Ramos as my name or else they'll send it back because the P.O. box is under Daniel's name. So let's see what I got. I think these are gonna be the My Face underwear that were supposed to come for Valentine's Day for Daniel as kind of a gag gift. Let's see. <laughs> Amazing. Let's see. I want I want to film his reaction when he gets home when he sees them. But I'm starving, so I'm gonna show you one of my like go-to breakfasts. We don't have a toaster, so Here's my toast in the oven, which is not ideal, but we don't really have space for a toaster. One day I really want this Meg toaster because it's just so cute. But I'm gonna show you how I make toast and egg whites and that's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm gonna chop up some peppers. I already really like prepped them, but I'm gonna make like a little scramble so I want them a little smaller. And I like spicy things, so I'm gonna chop up I actually think this is a Serrano, so I'm not gonna use, we're out of jalapeno. I'm not gonna use too much, too many, whatever. I keep my bread in the freezer because we don't go through like a whole loaf a week and that's just what, what works for me. So I'm gonna take two slices and I just put them on this little sheet because we don't have a toaster, so put that in the oven at like 400 for like four or five minutes each side and then again i am tracking everything i'm eating so i've got a little food scale if you're interested in tracking macros i really recommend it i think it's not for everyone especially if you like tend to be obsessive but it can be a really powerful tool to help you gain muscle lose fat the whole thing oops i didn't Clear the scale with one sec. Just get another one, the same bowl. Zero out the scale. I've got 100 grams of peppers. Peppers are really neg negligible um, in calories, but we're just gonna track everything. So all that's 100 calories, pretty much all carbs. Um, no, sorry, 100 grams, 30 calories. I like to use ghee to cook my eggs. So again, tracking everything. I really suggest measuring out your cooking oil because that can add a lot of fat really fast. So I'm just using half a teaspoon. I'll add my peppers. Wash some berries. I'm gonna do a cup of egg whites. I just get my egg whites at Costco. I like to cook my eggs on low. They're kind of fluffy. Time to flip my toast. Now it's time for my avocado. It feels a little squishy. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, perfect. I usually just use half of one. Wrap up the side with the pit. So it'll stay better. We do the juice of half a lime. Eggs are pretty much done. Salt, pepper, mash it all up. Does not look so good. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, my toast is ready. Now I'm gonna add my avocado. About 30 grams of avocado for healthy fats. Shut up! A lot of food. Yum! Oh, I'm gonna add some microgreens. And take a look at this balanced breakfast. There's 35 grams of protein, 9 grams of fat, and almost 40 carbs. So this is gonna keep me full for a while and I make this all the time pretty easy and tasty and good for you. Go and take my picture. I accidentally took a bite first. Daisy's begging. Why are you always begging? Hmm? 
You want something or something? A lot of times I will give her some eggs, but since I have serrano peppers in here, that's gonna be a no. Guys, I always get the hiccups when I eat spicy things. It's like kind of embarrassing. I like spicy, but this isn't even that spicy, but a lot of times it just gives me the hiccups. When we go to Daniel's dad's, he's Mexican and makes the best salsa ever, but he knows when it's spicy because I'm like, hiccup, hiccup, hiccup. Okay, just ate all that yummy breakfast. Now I'm gonna make some greens. If you're not taking greens, I don't care what brand, what are you doing? It looks gross. I know people are like scared of green, whatever, but it honestly tastes so good. This one's Unicorn Punch from FNX. You definitely need one of these things, but it's just so satisfying to watch. Greens have so many nutrients and vitamins and antioxidants, and it helps you not blow, and just makes you feel good, and it's like a little treat, it helps you hydrate. They're just, you just gotta try it. I always get like the green mustache. I should use a straw, but whatever. Babe, look what came. Oh, that's what this is? Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> it looks terrible. You like him? <laughs> no. <laughs> Will you wear him? I'll put him on, but. Oh my gosh. The neck, why does the neck look so weird? Cause it just photoshops, those aren't my arms, it just photoshops my face onto them. Come on, they're funny, hold them up. They are funny. <laughs> they look like I have a bob. Yeah, what, what happened to your hair? I don't know, I just cut it off. It gave you no tips on what kind of picture to upload. They're bad at photoshopping. Okay guys, it's time for my Botox and lip appointment. Oops, I'll turn that off. <laughs> It's actually snowing a lot. So I'll let you know everything when I get done. And yeah, I'm excited. Mwah. Okay, so it's been about three or four hours since I got um, the Dysport and the lip injections. All the redness has really gone down. And I feel like even the swelling has gone down. I don't think I'm gonna bruise at all. It usually will happen right away. So yeah, I'm really happy with the results. I feel like the lips already look really good. And I'm excited to see the Dysport take effect in a few days. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I like to train my core, make breakfast, and get lip injections. So let me know what you want to see from me next. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.